Now to the latest of our World War I at Home series. All this week, to mark the centenary of the First World War, we're running stories about how the war affected people here in Yorkshire. Tonight we have the story of a test pilot, Roland Ding from Leeds. Now the pilot was a well-known character, flying around the Yorkshire skies with Ding emblazoned on his aircraft. But his passion for airborne acrobatics ended in disaster. Heidi Tomlinson has this. Made from wood and cloth with a machine gun fixed to the wing, World War I pilots flew when flying was a new concept. These models, replicas at the Yorkshire Air Museum, show how basic the early planes were. Gliders with engines. Testing new fabrics and, and uh, new designs right on the cutting edge and they didn't have the test facilities that they have in, in uh, later days. So it was very much a question of getting in there, see if it, seeing if it flew. It certainly took some guts. William Roland Ding, known as Rowley, was one such fearless man, a test pilot for Blackburn aircraft manufacturers in Leeds. Ding was well known around Yorkshire. This is Northallerton Carnival after a minor crash landing. In a note to his wife, he joked, good thing this didn't happen when you were in the plane. Julian Ding describes his late grandfather as an adrenaline junkie. One summer's evening in 1917, Ding flew a biplane over Soldiers Field in Roundhay. It would have been a scene similar to this takeoff. The only difference, a thousand people had gathered to watch. It was his second loop, loop, I believe, that broke the wing on his plane and caused him to crash. As I understand it, that wasn't part of the test piloting regime, or that certainly wasn't anything that was written into the script for that day's flight. He was playing to the crowd. It was one stunt too many. The showman crashed to the ground to the horror of his spectators, one of which was Eric Sudell, who, as a lad, idolised Ding. Eric told grandson Matthew how he'd pester the pilot for a ride in his plane. They'd all be sort of clamouring around the cockpit. You can kind of picture the scene. Will you take me up with you, Mr Ding? And, uh, and Ding would say, well, maybe when you're a bit older. I was an eight-year-old uh, to, to witness something like that, I suppose, and to, to kind of witness the death of your hero. It made a massive impression. Looking at the spot where he died in Roundhay, Ding's descendants are proud of his courage and skill. He not only flew planes, but built one too, out of scraps discarded at Blackburn's factory. He built the White Falcon, and it would be their equivalent of someone going into a skip today and getting a bin lid and a bicycle and making a Ferrari out of it. And it was absolutely fantastic what he did with his, with his scraps. It was brilliant. William Roland Ding. Daring pilot, skilled engineer, performer. Heidi Tomlinson, BBC Look North, Leeds. Wonderful story. Yeah, ding dong, I suppose you could say, in the nicest possible way as well. <laughs> now, the BBC has been working with Imperial War Museums on the project. Yep, and to be able to see all of those features in one place, then go to the website. That's www.bbc.co.uk forward slash WW1 and just follow the link.